so what's up y'all what's up what's up everybody welcome to or welcome back to my channel and i hope you're having an amazing day wherever and whatever you are in the world Woo! still got it so yeah how are you guys i was being serious in the beginning how are you guys how are you i know i've been gone for a bit but honestly i really needed it guys mentally spiritually and physically i needed that break but i'm back babies i'm back and what better way to start off than showing you guys how and also the space obviously of how i got into this lovely freaking building from start to finish so yeah without any further ado let's get to it so picture this you wake up it is september 1st early in the freaking morning you're sort of in a cold sweat but you're excited because you know yep that's the day that you move on out. But before you get to all the exciting parts and going to the city, <laughs> you gotta pack boxes. All right, so these are the rest of the boxes that I have to bring downstairs. And I left these boxes up here because I still had to tape some stuff and stuff like that. I actually um, <clears throat> had to get a belt from there, so I had to cut that out because I'm a freaking dummy. But yeah, these are the rest of the boxes and also these boxes that I gotta bring downstairs. I just gotta get these all down here because my mom is supposed to be getting the truck, no, excuse me, the van around like nine, I think, because we gotta be over there because my move-in time starts at like precisely at 12.20 and I got two hours for all my stuff to get into my dorm and stuff. But yeah, let me bring all this stuff downstairs. So yes, after packing all those boxes and having to unpack and pack some up because I didn't put my outfit together properly and, and even more trifling of me, I packed two days before, not a week, not even on that freaking Monday, literally two days. Like I packed for two days, so that was, yeah, Wednesday and Tuesday. Yeah, those were the days that I packed. And then of course I had to do some little packing here and there on Thursday, but that's expected, but I waited two, I waited like two days before. Honest to God, don't ever do that. Do not ever wait until the last minute, especially since you have all that stuff. And espe ooh, especially if you're moving out of state. If you do that, then you deserve to get slapped because why in the heck would you wait until the last minute if you're going out of state for college? That don't make any sense. Anyway, with these big old guns of mine next, I had to move all those boxes down, which that was a challenge in itself because at the time my mom was getting ready, so don't hold anything against her, guys. No, she was getting ready. So I brought all those boxes down using my big guns and it wasn't an easy task not only was i unequipped because i was wearing like platform booties at the time but i was it was a lot of boxes and it was also like various sizes so i had like a big box and then i had like skinny boxes but most of them had like a lot of stuff in it so some of them were light some of them were heavy so i had to bring those down in a slim stairway and try not to fall and bust my stuff but after a while which that probably took like an hour or so i got everything looking like this you better okay 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 i'm up. here is the rest of the day stuff this stuff from the front the stuff in the back is the stuff from yesterday but oh my gosh this is a lot and as you guys have already seen on like the previous clips and stuff my room is mm, quite a freaking miracle but i I need to bring all this stuff. And I know what you say, these you don't need to bring all this stuff out. Yeah, I do. My skincare, my makeup, my bad stuff, like all this. Shoot, even all these damn clothes. Like this is what my clothes are in these two bags right here, these two contrastor bags. I needed to bring all that too because I need to look fresh. I need to look fresh. I mean, I could have just had one bag of clothes and once that was filled up, then I would have just stopped, but I don't know, it's just, I'm, I'm different, I'm different. I know, it, I know, it's a lot of stuff, a lot of crap, but guess what, I needed all that crap in order to feel like me, in order for me to not impose by. As you guys will see, like in the tour, I bought stuff like after I had moved in. So in order to combat that, I brought in as much stuff as I could. So it may have seemed a lot to you, especially the clothes. And y'all know, I'm a fashionista at heart, so of course I needed those clothes. Like, you thought I was just gonna be skipping, baby girl? You must be crazy if you thought I was skipping out on those clothes, honey. Oh my gosh, I'm so freaking dramatic. But that was actually my time of, like, leisurely time because my mom had to, yeah, like I said in the video, my mom had to go and get the van and stuff. So I was just left at my own devices, you know, chilling out with Gladys, who was already shedding little doggy tears, already missing me, which she, she a little bit fake for that. But no, guys, I'm kidding. I love my dog. I love her. So it was just me and her until finally my mom came back with this big old glorious man and we started packing the stuff up. Alright, alright, 
ready. What's next? What's oh yeah, towards the climax? Yeah, let's get it. Boom, we're in the city. We're driving, we're in the city, and it started to get a little bit messy from the start because Parkin, Spot Hero, it didn't need to be our friend today. Literally, we could have just found parking like my this entire building is like a long like a street so it's like a long strip of like stores and stuff like that so you could have easily found parking without trying to find a parking lot and what made it worse is that we stupidly went the wrong direction like literally had we went to the right we would have just rounded a corner and then another one and then boom we would have been there but because it was a dumb move we literally like went to the left and had to do like this long roundabout till we could yeah See, th see, that's how stupid it is. It's making me mess up my words. We had to do a whole roundabout and get to the door, but eventually we didn't make it there. We had to like get these wristbands, so we signed in and stuff, but after we signed in, my mom, she said that she was going to go get the van because, like I said, we did the super roundabout, so she thought that it was gonna be far, so she routed it back. But while she was doing that, I got my keys, my special keys that no one can encrypt or none of that, so <laughs> you tried it. Went upstairs to the 12th floor, which is a pretty high floor, but I'm actually happy about that. Opened the door and... Wow. That's all I had to say, like, I was like this. What? Like, that was my whole reaction. Like, the space itself at the beginning, it was just like, wow, I'm actually gonna be here. This is actually like my own little apartment that of course that I have roommates with but it's like I'm in my own crib I can eat what I want whenever I want I could do work at 5 a.m 3 a.m or last freaking minute I can do what I want and that thinking while it was great it was sort of my downfall because my mom was blowing up my phone I was fumbling because I had like attached like my special keys and security thing and all that other type of stuff to like my little linear and stuff so while I was doing that I was sort of like fumbling around and keep in mind I didn't enter the norm and that's the climax. So I was fumbling with them, my mom was calling and saying hey I'm here can you go and get a car so yeah I was down on my way to get down there but y'all why is it that when I got to the car sign up thing they told me that I needed an ID either my actual ID or my school ID, neither of which I had because they were upstairs in my purse. So I bum rushed it up there. My mom was blowing me up, but by the time I got there, she was visibly annoyed, which understandably, yes, it was hot as heck outside. I think it was like 80, like mid 80s, closing in on the 90s. Like it was just in that range. So it wasn't a good day to be outside with that kind of attire. So yeah, we got the car. We had to do three trips because Remember those two contrastor bags, my suitcase, and all that stuff, like the big, big items, which we didn't leave until for last. So we like doubled the box, which took two trips. And the way that it was set up to where you would have the cars and the elevators and stuff, you really gotta maneuver your way around them and stuff. And it wasn't easy. Like you had to wait for the elevator. You sort of like have to make it to an elevator and stuff like that. Otherwise a bunch of like people are gonna come through and it was just a lot, especially when you was just like stuck. Like it was a lot, but we got there and my mom actually got a little bit of a taste to the room. She got to see and enjoyed the bliss. And then that bliss turned to dust when we opened this room and saw how freaking small it was. It looks, it, it, it was really, really freaking small. I have this big old wardrobe that you guys can see here. I have like a protruding wall stuff that you guys are gonna see like later on during the tour, but it was small. And my mom was like, you know the face of when you were doing too much or when you were like, oh, you should have thought because she saw all this stuff in this other room and something wasn't, something wasn't sticking, something wasn't adding up. You know, but we got started anyway. We started like with the con uh, contrastor bags with the clothes and stuff. So she was like hanging stuff up. I was hanging stuff up, and this whole time I was telling her, "Yo, don't worry. If there's stuff I gotta get rid of, there's stuff I gotta get rid of." And I actually did get rid of some stuff. I like put it in a um one of the contrastor bags. Like when all of them were like said and done, like all empty. You know, right? I just put like certain um items and stuff, so, like clothes, like different decor and stuff like that. And so that's been and gone with my mom already. But yeah, that's what I started to do once. I started like putting like clothes and stuff up and that was actually the last thing my mom did before she hugged me and kissed me goodbye and then she called like later like I think 
30 minutes later, like while I was still at packing clothes and then I had moved over to my desk, he had called and asked if everything was cool and alright and I said, yeah, everything's cool and alright. But by that time, my other roommate, um, they came over so I wasn't alone. Like, at the beginning, I was alone, but now I'm not alone. So I was just unpacking myself and y'all, I was doing that until 8 something at night. And literally, I have not even put a freaking damn, a freaking punch into this freaking room. Like, it was, it was crazy. It was crazy. Like, it's, I didn't expect that to happen. I just expected, like, with my fast track brain, I would just, okay, I would be like this. That goes there, that goes there, that goes there, that goes there. No, that doesn't go there. Da, 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 da. I thought that would be like that. Well, that wasn't the case. So, I spent, until that time, putting that up, and that's when the emotional part came in because you guys probably thought that we cried it out well we didn't it wasn't until around that time at night when i had called my mom because i had missed her but i didn't want to let her know so while i was like holding back my tears like mm -hmm. yeah 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 i'm fine it's just i was putting up a mirror and i was frustrated and stuff and yeah i was being like that and i was actually like, that was actually a true story, literally. Like, I was putting up a mirror and I just decided to use that as an excuse to, like, call her and be upset. So, yeah, that's that's when the real emotional part came. And it didn't stop until, like, early in the morning when I had already gone to sleep. So, yeah, guys, that's the whole story. And more of it, all of that is going to happen to you. My little teeny boppers, people that's watching me that's still in high school or even under, like, an elementary, middle school. Yeah, when you go to college, this is going to happen to you. You're gonna have your emotional moments, you're gonna have your mad moments, you're gonna pass stuff up, you're gonna tape stuff up, like you're gonna have, it's a lot, it's a lot. And you know what, to get here was definitely a blessing. For me to stand in this room and be in my one number one dream school, Columbia College of Chicago is a blessing because I always wanted to go here from the moment that I laid eyes on this um, institution, I knew that, hey, that was the school that I wanted and so I made it here and I got here safe and sound and yeah guys there's really not much to say about it other than I'm really really grateful. But with that story out of the way, let's get to the lovely tour. Excuse the noise but the minute that you enter in so boom you're in, you get hit with like this big sort of like alcove, alcove area, what did I say alcove, nobody knows. but. Yeah, it's just this big opening that actually goes to one of the bathrooms that my roommates, two of my roommates, whose rooms are on this side. Yeah, this is their bathroom. Me and my other roommate's bathroom, this is ours. But this is basically a space to go to that bathroom as well as get like, yeah, like right there. Here's like the cleaning supplies. So we got some trash bags, we got napkins, we got um, dish detergent, all that good stuff that we need for cleaning. And we also got like some extra like grocery bags and stuff that we just need to get out of the way. For example, that, that is a piece of my bookshelf, which you guys will see later. Um, sorry, I went out of focus, guys. Yeah, this is the piece of the bookshelf that I decided not to put it because I would have to nail it in and because I'm only staying in the dorms for a year, then it wouldn't make any sense for me to nail this in and then having like pull those hands out, so I just kept it here. It works, it works relatively fine. I mean, it wobbles a little bit, but as long as I don't like bump and bump it, then I'll be good. Okay, let's move on to the bathroom. See? You see this mirror? It's a little dirty, don't judge me, but it's a little dirty and it got like these pretty light bulbs and stuff up. But yeah, here's the bathroom. Here are the towels. Up here is my roommate's towels. And then we have, this is a hand towel that I bought from Target, so sort of super duper cheap. Here's my towels, my hair towel, and my makeup towel, you know the dealio. And here's some toilet paper and a rug. I actually like the fact that I sort of forgot um, the rings because when I got like the shower curtain and like the um, shower liner, like, you know, like this part, I forgot to give rings, like the dummy I am. I forgot to buy these rings while I got those, well, this element, the shower liners for my roommate. And she actually brought, um, bought this along with the ring. So I'm glad because the, Shower liner that I got, it was actually really, really thin and it wasn't as thick. You get what I'm saying? So I'm glad that she got that. Also, another interesting thing about this countertop is we got our stuff divided and conquered. And here's my side over here. So I brought makeup, guys. I brought makeup. I'm trying to get into makeup more. I'm going to be walking around in the city, so I might as well. So I have like, my makeup right here. I have another mirror. I have my toothpaste. 
my mouthwash and contact stuff and I also have a little, little decorative plant because I want to spice things up in here. In here is my actual makeup and down here is sort of like bath body stuff like in that basket in the back along with like some extra towels. My hair stuff is like in a crevice because listen, I know you guys see this, right? Should I do a reveal? Should I? Yeah. Boom. So I cut my hair guys. I cut my hair, so obviously I don't need that much product on at all. So that's why I just like brought like a spray bottle, a sponge, two things of like the same product. It's sort of like this jelly, double duty, elongating, definite um stuff, basically just to like elongate and define my curls, which uh, it's been doing. And here's my skincare. So I have like gone rounds and the last of this cleanser and all that stuff like in here. And I actually got this like last minute. This wasn't while I was like still buying stuff while I was back at the house. I bought like a lot, a lot of last minute stuff, but this is one of the beginning pieces because I realized that not all the stuff will fit in here and I didn't get that many baskets so I had to get something else but yeah that's the bathroom <laughs> moving right along boom the big common area slash the kitchen let's start with the kitchen ignore like these digits and stuff hey it could be worse it could be worse we're a bunch of college students for college students it could be worse but I love this countertop guys like look at this Look at this. Yes, it needs to be clean. Again, ignore that, but look at this. It's like a big counter slash island because I don't know if you guys saw, but there were like stools on the other side of that, which these are interesting stools, but I'll get to that in a minute. So this is like where we can like prep food is where like we can sit on the other side, like I said, and keep the dishes. Here's the sink filled with dishes. And as you can see, we have a plethora of different dishes and that's because all of us brought our different contributions with one of my roommates bringing most. Me, hold up, let's see that right now. These, along with something at the bottom, but this is just the start, this is literally what I brought. It's just a small, small percentage because one of my roommates already said that they had a bunch of kitchen stuff, so it was like, oh, I don't have to like bring a bunch of kitchen stuff and stuff. Boy, boy oh boy, they were right. So yeah, I was off the hook for that. So let me show you like all the kitchen stuff. Here are like all the pots and pans. There's my stuff over there at the top. Thanks. Oven mitt and towels, which I didn't get any of that either. Spices, spices like paprika, cinnamon sugar. What? Oh my god! Hold on a second. Yo, I did not know that this existed. I'm low key thought that you just poured your own sugar and cinnamon. This is. Well, mm, it's a little bit dumb because why would I just pay for a mix when I can literally just get the two ingredients and combine the two? But this is still lit. Yeah, this is cool. This is dope. Over here we have, you see, my snacks, which is looking a little bit empty, but hey, fall to me is right around the corner, come like late September, early October, this is gonna have my fall snacks. And the same could be said for my other, here, the, this microwave and stove is the freaking bomb.com, guys. It's so simple, it makes me wanna cook, it's so stylish, because fun fact, this entire kitchen and most of this dorm was actually damaged in a fire. Some students put oil and water together and it caused like a little bit of a grease fire, so yeah. This is like recently renovated, so this is like brand new stuff, which is really cool. And over here, this would be considered my cabinet with my cereal, the bread, oh my gosh, the bread, the bagels, you see that fell down the stuff. So this would be considered my cabinet for my stuff because we get our own groceries. If there's something that's for everybody, we let each other know, but for the most part, all of us, we just get our own groceries. And I actually have like a real good hookup through my stepmom. Shout out to you, I love you. She gets me on the hookup for all the groceries and stuff. So she just orders them and then has it delivered over to my dorm. So that's really, really sweet of her. And she also got me like these pudding cups. She didn't give me that, I actually got that from the cafeteria. But she also got me, and she also didn't give me the milk. I actually got this from them. The cafeteria slash marketplace, which is also from there. I don't know, it's hard to explain, but yeah. That's how close of my cafeteria is. Yeah, she got me all this stuff. And of course, the rest of it is like my roommates and stuff like that. Okay, say bye bye to the kitchen. Hello to the rest of the common area slash the living room. TV. We really don't watch TV like that unless it's something that we watch together or you see like the Nintendo Switch right there. Oops, shoot, that we use. Yeah, that's when the TV is used. Other than that, printer and like other papers and storage and stuff like that that's on the other side. Printer, I have not hooked this up. There is another way to use a printer like that. It's, it's a wireless printer, guys. So you can either 
hook it up to the Wi-Fi, which I can't do this since we technically don't have our own Wi-Fi, but that's just another conversation that we're not gonna have. Or you can hook it up like, it has its like own Wi-Fi, so basically you would like hook it up like any type of Wi-Fi. It has like its name and its password and you just connect it to whatever device that you wanna print it from and then you could print it like that. And that's probably how I'm gonna use it for a while until, you know, I can get my own Wi-Fi. <sighs> this, this has to be my favorite parts of like this whole freaking common area it's great guys it even has like my favorite building like right there at the top that i can see there you have like the couch and stuff which these type of furniture is actually supplied it comes like with the dorm but like this chair and stuff yeah that's what my roommate stuff that's what they got <laughs> boom here is my room you see you see my little helicopter posters and you see like my little vaudeville vaudeville filter yeah this is my dorm yeah this is my room so these I my dorm yeah my room first of all it was just this door and like a freaking stupid ugly colored letter to like distinguish each and every one of the doors this is mine so I just wanted to cover it up to like you know make it more me so I just I bought this poster along with a couple other posters that you guys are gonna see in a minute but I bought this and then these are the cutouts that I was gonna use for like a collage, like an acting collage. And this is actually from an old 2019 calendar of, you guessed it, Hamilton, you see? So I just like took tape and then I pasted it up. If you didn't know I was a theater kid, so if you didn't know I was a theater kid, you do now. Okay, let me stop, let's get to the actual door. Do 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 You enter, and here it is, guys. Okay, let's close this. So you guys can see the mirror. This big mirror I got while I was shopping. This is actually one of the like biggest, longest pieces that we had to haul. So I basically just, before it was like over here, like in that space, but I actually had like some old command strips that I used. So I just took those and then I just like pasted them right here. And every once in a while, yeah, I do press it because uh, my vanity has given me some special type of PTSD that hasn't been recovered since. So now I just have a habit of just like pressing anything that's attached with command strips down just so I won't have that crashing noise in the middle of the night because something fell down. But anyway, here are my shoes and here's actually, see this is what I was talking about with the new containers and stuff that I didn't get pre-moving. This container I actually got yesterday. So I have a lot of stuff guys. This along with the bookshelf, along with the side table and the cubbies, before I had the bookshelf and this and the side table, all of my stuff was literally piled on here. Don't believe me? Here's the clip. Yeah, yeah. You see all that? Even in the cutaway shot away from my Alexa? Yeah, that was my desk. So I couldn't concentrate, obviously. So all that had to get erased and put in like to cubbies. And obviously I needed more storage, but I'm actually glad that I got that because now I feel a lot more sane now that all this is clear. And of course I have like my lamb and like some legit items that I have on here, including this. Well, this is a wire board for anybody who doesn't know. It's a special type of board that you use like paper clips and stuff like that to just post stuff. And as you guys can see, I have like pictures, I have like a letter and stuff like that. So it brings more character to my room, but not as much character as this light, which I found out that I did not have no freaking lights in this room. I was screwed. I was screwed and only was able to use this. Like, hold on, for reference, with regular freaking sunlight coming from my other roommate's room, this is how much light I get in here. But here it is with the lamp, see? And that's actually just directed to the camera. So imagine if I did this, yeah. Not that much light, right? So you can imagine that I've just been saturated in this big bound of darkness before I actually got that lamp. Bad, it's, it's bad, I know. Moving on, let's go to, yeah, the wardrobe. The big bad wardrobe. <laughs> Let me just tell you that only a few items had to go back, but because I have like these hanger things right here, it was a freaking lifesaver because see how much I was actually able to fit in here. Minus the um, dresser drawers, like that's a different story, but this was the main problem and I'm glad that I was able to fit everything in here. Dresser drawer items, I have like shirts, but because I don't have that many shirts, ironically, I had to like squeeze some pants in here. So I have some pants here and I also have some couple articles of pants that I need to refold less down here as well. Well, on top of the wardrobe, however, which let me go ahead and get 
this freaking desk chair. Oh yeah, and did you see the desk chair? Yeah, really nice too. And it's also perfect for when I wanna put my heating pad on here to warm my butt cheeks. Here is the top. Here are my accessories. Here's the basket that I actually used to have my underwear and socks in before I got those dividers back from my house because I had like little dividers and stuff like for my drawers, for my socks and underwear. Stupidly, I told my mom to bring those back, but because I got like six of them bad, I now just have all my socks in here, which imagine digging through your socks to get to your underwear. Couldn't be me. And here I just have like my gym clothes and stuff, which is bound to grow because I'm starting to go to the gym more, guys. Here is my special little, excuse the laundry, wall of black excellence and fame. You see, you see Aaliyah, you see Tupac, you see this beautiful girl that I actually, see, if you remember my black to back series from 2022, you remember this girl, these lovely people, and even Roxanne Shante. Yes, this is what I use for like that cool little stop motion intro. So I just took like those pictures because I wanted to decorate this wall again so the whole room would be bland. So I ordered these. Yeah, these. This was the other poster I talked about that I got that vaudeville poster from. I got this and then I also got this and then I just brought like those other like pictures and stuff. But this is actually the only piece of like original art and that's because I painted it. This is actually my um, take on the art style of Daria, that MTV 90s cartoon. If you guys know it, you know. But yeah, this is just my take on it, and I think it turned out pretty well. This side table, it wouldn't have fit had I not pushed this over. Seriously, I, I almost cried. Almost cried because I didn't, I thought that this would fit, guys. I thought this would fit, and then when it doesn't, I literally just sat, on my bum ready to cry until i realized let me try and move this wardrobe so i did a little push and i was like oh crap i can actually push it so i started pushing more and eventually we got to this so on here i just have the regular stuff that i would have like on my old side table at home my charging station my melatonin along with my birth control a glass of water my alexa and this is new a little light of cactus that i got from five and below it brings character you see and also on the side, like on the wardrobe, I have like my robe and like one of my jackets, which if you guys saw on the other side, hopefully, I have two of my most used jackets as well because most of my jackets wouldn't fit and I didn't want to have to like bring certain jackets home. So yeah, I made it work. Underneath here, however, I have OG book in my diary. I have the first of what is to come of many fall decorations that I actually got from my aunt this past weekend. It's like a little wicker basket with like fake pine cones and berries and leaves and stuff. And then I have like a box of tissue and that's it for the side table. Here's the bed, here's the bed. The bed obviously is everybody's favorite place. If it's not, shut up, you're lying. I have like white pillows, like I wanted to do similar to my old room which is where i just wanted like plain type colors like i didn't want my bed to be like all exciting stuff so i started off with this comforter i have like other comforters and stuff too which does have designs on them but that doesn't matter it doesn't bother me and i also have extra blankets up there along with the other like storage stuff that i couldn't like put down there but that's besides the point so here i have my comforter i have my big old wide blanket which don't call me an idiot i didn't get this dirty so heck have my stuffed animals, one stuffed animal from my dad's, the other from my mom. So you got the best of two houses, the best of both worlds on the bed. Pillow, which is already needing a wash because y'all, I'm a heavy sleeper. I, I, a, a lot of stuff just happens to my pillow whenever I sleep. Mouth be hanging open and stuff like, it's, it's a mess. I have this headrest pillow, which I had one when I was younger, but obviously I grew out of it. So the fact that I was able to get this is a real, real treat and a real, real joy, especially for those nights where I just want to lie down, but I want to do some work at the same time. You guys get it? Ooh. Oh, and of course, here's my Tupac here, my baby, my Tupac tapestry, which I left as well. I know, but hey, he bad babies, he back. The new bookshelf, aka the bookshelf that doesn't have the back and does a widow with a wobble, but that's okay. I won't bump it. On the other side of it, I have like my lights, which before it was like over there in that corner, but I like how it's here because it separates most of my camera equipment and makes it more subtle. Like I'm a YouTuber, I make content, but you can't tell if it's all in just one corner. You get what I'm saying? I don't know what I'll be talking about. I don't know. I just like it here. So on top, I have my jewelry, my clapperboard, of course, and some LED lights, which is actually the lights. Ooh, I forgot to show you guys this. I found another thing of LED lights in my room. I just put them all over the pillar. Of course, 
they're not as long as like my other ones but you know what that's okay it has a little bit of glamour so this is what this is for here's some more jewelry silver meditation balls here I have like some books like most of the books are down here but like up here is like a couple of the books my Polaroid a cute little plant because I didn't want to have to get rid of more plants because I low-key thought that I overdid it with the fake plants guys seriously like I brought like six of them like I just I distinguishedly said let me take this one for my dresser let me take this one for my vanity Ooh, but the one on my side table let me leave yeah that's what I did and the one that was like on my desk like you see that one the one I think that was in the back I don't know there was another one that I got oh no it was in the comic room if you guys saw it you guys saw it but it was those two that I actually got from TJ Maxx but I just I didn't want to give up my fake plants guys I didn't want to give them up because it brings life it brings nature it brings simplicity and minimalistic aspects to my room don't you guys agree and here I have my electronics so like wires and phone cases and stuff like that like I would at home here are the rest of the books these books stayed in a box for a good week because like I said I couldn't have I didn't have the storage so I couldn't get into reading but I'm definitely going to resume this book oh my gosh guys this is so freaking girl girl man's up I highly recommend this book here are my markers my calculator and pencil and stuff like that and down below aka stuff that I could barely get is stuff that I don't need at the moment so like my speaker my yeah, my speaker that's all the way in the back. This clear bag that I use for like skincare and stuff. My heating pad and then like some light bulbs. Oh, and of course, like sitting like at the edge of the bed, I have Ego and I have Grad Bear because I couldn't put them anywhere else and I didn't want to get rid of them. I like put them at I like the head of my bed, like right there, but I kind of like them like right here for now. I don't know, I might put them back. Like, dang guys, I just keep forgetting stuff. I mean, this is sort of irrelevant, but here are the cubbies. AKA the only bit of storage that they actually gave me. From handbags to book bags, from my school supplies, from pajamas to smell goods in my undies. Yeah, you can find that all here. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and also joining me on this crazy academic field, don't get it twisted, part of my life. And I can't wait for you guys to see what I have in store for these up and coming months. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a good time. It's gonna be a good time. Not for a long time, but for a good time. So don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, a sweet, sweet comment, and of course, subscribe. Join the fam for all my new peeps out there. I know you want to, because you watch this video, you might as well just stick around for more. But until then, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.